Hi guys, Allison here. Happy Fuse Glass Friday. As you can see, this week we are working on a little Oktoberfest piece. So it is that time of the year. Uh, I'm actually going to an Oktoberfest in New Jersey. No, not real Oktoberfest. Uh, but my husband and I actually lived in Germany for almost four years. So we were lucky enough to attend Oktoberfest in Munich um, several times while we were there. So I thought I would do a little piece to, you know, commemorate that um, and then we can hang this up in our little bar area uh, when it's Oktoberfest season. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. So uh, I made this little mock-up on the computer uh, just so I had the spacing and everything for this piece and then I actually traced my design onto this white piece of glass um, at the window. So you can sort of do that with some of the lighter colors, even if they're opaque. A light box works better. I just don't have a light box, so I use a window to do that pretty often. So I will keep that picture close by if I need to reference it, but I think I have a pretty good idea of how I'm gonna go ahead and make this one. So what I'm gonna start with is the what is this uh, bunting? So the little little flags that spell out spell out Oktoberfest. I'm gonna use a really pretty light translucent blue uh, that'll look really nice against the white there. So that's what I'm gonna start with. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm not going to glue them yet just because uh, I think for the letters I'm going to end up um, using uh, not paint. Oh my gosh, my mind just. Oh, enamel. That's what I'm probably going to end up using is using enamel. And um, I'm going to use my little drawing over there, the actual printed font, um, to trace because my handwriting, as you can see, is not as nice. So I'm just going to leave that for now, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to the little pretzel. Just kind of uh, thinking out how I'd like to do this. I was intending to make it out of this opaque brown, um, but then of course I can't trace it. But what I can do is actually take my little drawing here and I'm just grabbing some scissors. And I will just cut out my little pretzel and make myself 
a template that I can trace because this is a pretty complicated shape and I don't want to, you know, spend a whole bunch of extra time and probably waste a bunch of glass uh, making pieces that don't fit together well. So we're just going to cut this guy out. Okay, so I have all my little pretzel pieces cut out. Um, these two guys, these are going to be the hardest shapes to cut. I'm going to attempt to do it in one piece, but I might end up having to split this into two pieces, and that'll be fine too. Um, I am never <laughs> looking for perfection in my projects because I uh, would be sorely disappointed if I were. So. I just go for artistic, I go for readable for what, you know, I'm trying to make it look like, and that is good enough for me. So that's how we are going to attempt this pretzel. So if you notice, uh, to try and get this inner curve out, I've made a score line pretty close to what I want it to actually look like, and then I've actually made one which is a lot easier to cut. That's usually how I attempt to do something like this. I'm actually going to go in and just add another little score and just kind of keep nipping off pieces to get it closer and closer to the shape that I actually want. Um, of course, oh shoot, it broke. That's okay. It'll fit back together anyways. Uh, what I was going to say is, of course, if you have access to a, um, a glass saw, <laughs> something like this is a lot easier. I do not have a saw at the moment, although I have been thinking about purchasing one and decided undecided for now, but maybe in the future that will be a purchase of mine. Although I do really enjoy hand cutting pieces. I think that's, you know, something that is, uh, something that I'm proud of in my work is that all of my pieces are hand cut. I don't buy elements that are pre-made. Um, I enjoy the process of making art and I enjoy, you know, making my own elements in my pieces. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and move on.
Okay, so this looks pretty good. I think I just need to maybe, um, maybe if I just make this angle less extreme, maybe it'll fit together a little bit better. Let's see how that looks. That looks good to me. That is looking pretzely. Um, see what I mean about, you know, not looking for perfection? I mean, this is obviously not perfect and if I was striving for perfect, I would be here literally all day when I have, in my opinion, a pretty, pretty decent pretzel already. So I'm going to stop fussing with it. I'm going to get it glued down so I don't accidentally, you know, bump into it and forget where we piece went, <laughs> which has happened to me before. I'm sure we all have that, have had that experience. Okay, so now for the salt, I'm just going to use some medium frit. Um, I have ivory. I couldn't find white. I'm not sure if that's because I don't have it or because I just can't find it. Uh, could go either way, but I think the ivory will be just fine for what I'm doing here. All right, so pretzel looks good to me. We are gonna go ahead and move on to the beer. So I thought I would use this nice translucent amber for the beer part of the beer. Uh, and then I also have some clear iridescent that I wanna use for the glass. So I think what I'm going to be doing is um, making like, you know, I'll, I'll just talk as I'm working. <laughs> so I'm going to make a, make the liquid part of the beer first out of this color. And then I think I'm actually gonna try to put the clear irid on top so that it actually looks like, you know, the beer is inside the glass versus layering it this way. This is probably the safer thing to do. This, we'll see if it creates air bubbles or if it, you know, fires weird, but I'm okay with experimenting. So, and then the iridescent glass uh, has, a coating that's what gives it that shininess. I'm going to put the coating side face down because I'm also going to put clear stringer on top of it to give it a little bit more definition. It's hard to tell on the clear which side is the iridescent. Um, of course if you get a colored iridescent it's a lot easier to tell but you can actually feel the coating. Like I can feel the coating on this side and then this side is super smooth so I know that the coating side is going to be facing that way. So let's hope I don't, uh, you know, flip that around again and get it wrong. <laughs> So 
And now I just want to make a little handle out of the earret as well. Again, with this inside curve, I keep doing this to myself. I don't think I'll be able to get it done in one piece, but we'll see. Pretty decent to me. Um, of course, not an exact match of my drawing here, but sometimes you just have to learn how to leave well enough alone. Because <laughs> I think if I keep messing with it, I will end up breaking it. Oh, but there's a little bit more I can do. All right, let's just you know, fiddle with it again. Of course, after I just said that. Okay, now we're done. Get this glued. Okay, so now I have, like I said, a clear stringer. Um, this is going to be pretty subtle uh, on top of the ear, I think. I'm just going to add a couple lines just to give it, you know, that texture of the glass because it's not totally smooth. It does have the little indents. And then I'm going to add some frit uh, as the beer foam. This is, again, this is ivory. I didn't want to use white because, although you'd have the texture of it, I don't, I want it to have a slightly more contrast with the background white. So I'm hoping that ivory is, you know, different enough that we get that contrast there. So let me put my mask on because I'm using powder. And then I'm just going to use a plastic spoon, take a bit of frit. Basically dump it on. <laughs> and then I'm going to use this tool to sort of push it underneath that clear earid. And then also just sort of shape it to make it a little bit more foam-like. Okay, so now I'm going to do this heart here. Um, heart, again, is a pretty complicated shape to try to cut in one piece so I probably wasn't going to do it all in one piece anyways but what I thought I would do is actually split it into three parts just off the bat and make it the German flag so the German flag is gonna be black red and gold so Okay, so I'm really happy with how all those elements turned out. I think it looks great. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do the letters now. I'll get my little guide back here, like I said. Okay. 
All right, so what I'm gonna be using to make the letters is this uh, Fuse Master. It's powdered enamel, but then I'm mixing it with the water-friendly medium to make it more of a paint. And I do have a little jar of it pre-mixed here. I think I have to add a little bit more of the liquid medium because I haven't used it in a little bit. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let me get this out of the way for us. Yeah, I think that looks cute. I'm gonna get these glued down. Um, I was debating whether or not I wanted to like have a string in between, but I think they're close enough that like you can totally see what it is. I don't think I need to get that crazy with it. Me, before I start gluing, I'm just going to uh, place them exactly where I want them again. <laughs> You know, of course I said it and now I glued it and I'm thinking, well, maybe I should have, you know, a ribbon holding them. But first I'm going to take care of these guys. Uh, I have pre-made hooks out of nichrome wire. I don't know if these guys can see it. This little, little hooks that I'm going to embed in between the two layers of glass so that we're able to hang it when it's fired. So typically I wouldn't show the hooks, like I would use opaque glass to cover this part, but I think I'm just going to use the same blue of the, that I did on the bunting here. And I think I'm just going to make the hooks out of that, even though it's translucent. I think I'm going to try to not let that bother me because when we hang it, you know, I'm going to do like a ribbon or cord or something and then that'll cover that a little bit anyways. So we are going to not be a perfectionist about this. <laughs> Okay, so I decided I am going to make a little stringer uh, cord, I guess, to, that the bunting would be hanging on. So I'm just going to try to get it all in frame here. Light my little tea light.
right. So let me zoom in a little bit here so we can get all those details. I enjoy what I made here. I think this is really sweet. I think it's a nice little tribute to our time spent in Germany. Yeah, really happy with that. So as always, I will be back tomorrow uh, with the fired project and I will show you how that turned out. See you then. Hi friends, welcome back. It's the next day. I have my finished fired Oktoberfest project here. I think it's really cute. I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, there are a couple of things I'm going to point out. For some reason, so the foam on the beer, I could have sworn that I had used ivory, but it looks purple. So I don't know if I just had my frit jars mixed up or somehow I had a couple out and grabbed the wrong one. It doesn't look bad. I mean, I'm, I'm still happy with it. Maybe the ivory wouldn't have been enough of contrast anyways. Um, but that's just pretty funny. I do have a little bit of a, an air bubble here in the beer as well. I know I talked about that when I was making it, that I thought that could have been a concern uh, with how I built it. I'm okay with that. I mean, beer has bubbles, right? Love how the little banner turned out. My pretzel looks cute. Love the heart. Um, and like I said earlier, um, I know you can see the hooks here, which I'm trying to not let bother me. I think what I'm going to do is, you know, when I put the string to hang this up, I'm just going to make like a bow here and then I won't really see it and then it won't bother me so much. But overall, super pleased with how that turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do put out a new video every Friday, so I will see you guys next week. Bye!